talked about because your wife is quite the actress as well yeah so my wife a is amazing she's an amazing i'm very fortunate um she's uh she's a wonderful wonderful human just in general and she's beautiful and uh she is her name is mo collins and she was her big you know thing back in the day was mad tv where she played stewart's uh mother and then she played lorraine the one who coughed a lot at you know at, did all that stuff. And now, and then she, you know, from there, she went on to do a bunch of, you know, guest star roles and uh, recurring roles. And then she's also on, uh, she was on Parks and Rec. She played Joan Calamezzo on Parks and Rec. Uh, she, I and now she's game. on a show called Fear the Walking Dead on AMC. So yeah, she's, she's great. And she's talented. So talented, you know. So she's always been working, man. Like, yeah, she's you know, I mean, workers. actors, you know, we have downtimes and stuff, but yeah, I mean, she's been consistent, which is great, you know. Look at this, I'm catered to. I've got what? come here, come here. No, show your face so he can see you. Yeah, yeah, he says, I'm yeah. getting a look. Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> how are you? I can't oh. hear him though. Oh, he can't hear you. I tell, I tell her I'm, I'm good. I don't know sign language. He's good. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to figure this out for the uh, next time. I'll get her to learn how to read lips. Okay. Or sign language. <laughs> or sign language. We can all learn sign language. Well, it was nice yeah. seeing her. Have fun. Okay. Fun Thank you. Come on. Come on, so we're lucky. Come on. Come on. Yeah. She just brought me hot chocolate with ashwagandha in it. Hot chocolate? Yeah, but it's got ashwagandha. I'm not in it for the hot chocolate. I'm in it for the ashwagandha because I love ashwagandha. When Ashwagandha's you say that, when you say ashwagandha, ashwagandha it's very pretentious. <laughs> did, you take, did you take your ashwagandha this morning, Debbie? <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. So I'm picking up voices. I'm picking up my son from the airport tonight at 9:30. Oh yeah. He's coming back from his two and a half week trip to the East Coast and uh, he had a blast. So I'm going to go pick him up and I believe uh, he's got to work tomorrow. And here's the other thing. We leave for was it <laughs> Tell me how, how is that? It's horrible. What? It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Horrible. It's got ashwagandha, ashwagandha in it, and it's stuck to the roof of my mouth, and it's not uh, going away. What is ashwagandha? Um, what the the taste I'm currently trying to get out of my mouth? That's ashwagandha. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so picking him up, and then her and I, my wife and I, leave for Austin, September sixth. What? Yeah, so we leave September 6th. So, you know, he and this is like the third time he'll be here, you know, doing his thing. So Wow. Yeah. Did he hear back about the commercial? No, but he had another commercial audition uh, yesterday. Or him. no, uh, Friday. Yeah. Yeah, he's, hey, look, man, I'm telling you. Hey. Kids it's got, uh, it's in the blood, man. You know, yeah. you can't, once you get bitten by that bug, you are just in it. <laughs> I hear, I hear you, I hear you. Um, I... <laughs> If this doesn't work out, I've put a lot of thought into becoming a lounge singer. Let me hear a few notes. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Go ahead. Why are you to why are you holding No, I can't. Why are you holding that? <laughs> Isn't that how <laughs> <laughs> I can sing though. Like you put a karaoke, you put a tune on in yeah. the background, and I will belt it out. Wow, oh, you got a little pipage oh, there. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, yeah, I didn't oh, even know yeah. that about you. It's kind of interesting. I, like I'm a, I love like Frank Sinatra. Oh I yeah, I love Sinatra. it. I, I'm, oh, I'm like pitch, and I'm pitch now, perfect on everything I sing, pretty much. The end is near, and so I face, and so I face the final curtain. 
this fun my food, friend this hot chocolate i'll say it clear really burns that hot chocolate tastes like shit oh. bags so we- <laughs> tastes like rotten <laughs> bourbon <laughs> It tastes. It tastes. It tasted like my dreams of becoming an athlete. <laughs> oh my god, that tasted like shit for me. <laughs> I can't. And you know the funny sports. thing is, I played soccer for like thirteen years. I can't play sports for nothing. You can. You can. I can't. I can do a little bit of each sport, but I can't put it yeah. together. I know nothing about sports. That's why, if we ever get guests, we need to get athletes, and this is why. This is why we need to get athletes. Every time they go to talk about their job yeah. as an athlete, we change the subject. <laughs> we don't if we if we, we just don't let any, them talk about. We don't let them to, like if if I can get any NHL or guys that I know from back yeah. in the day to come yeah. on, I won't let them talk about hockey at all. At all, like it won't even come up. We'll say at the beginning what or like I'll ask the question about hockey. And then as soon as they go to say something, you change the Possibly. subject. Yeah, I think we just we will just sap. How long do you think they'd stay on, though? They'd probably be like, what the fuck? Oh, hours, hours. No, no, because I think they would see the, yeah. the comedy behind it. <laughs> it's your job. I don't want to imagine if we came on this podcast and I told you about all the all the like the things yeah. I do for work. You know, like your it's your not. job is very interesting. My yeah. job is interesting, mind you, but we don't want to talk about it. No, I don't want to sit here and talk about acting. First of all, actors talking about acting is the most boring fucking thing ever. Firemen talk- talking about firemaning is the most <laughs> boring thing ever. Firefighting or whatever. Um, I I could just I just I picture us with like Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. Like doing what? Like we don't bring it up once. Like just having to shoot the shit. We don't even bring it up once. once. You be like, yeah, I was, uh, I was good at. No, no, we just talk. We talk about. No, we talk about his commercial life. Yeah, we'd be like, we'd be like, so Shaquille, if you were to cut down a tree, where would the first mark be? Like that kind of stuff. You're probably is. How tall is he? He's not much taller than you. Dude, he's like fucking seven three. Oh, I thought he was like six five or six eight or something. Well, see, people, sports. People, I don't know sports. Look, people that are short like you, do you guys think that anything over, you know, 5'11 is like fucking giant? You know what? Can I highlight something, <laughs> what you just did there and how fantastic it is? And that's why yeah. I love you so much is because the one time, the last time we were chatting or the last episode, yeah. um, I was talking about getting noticed by and my TikTok fave. And yeah. you said, um, you, you said something about, you know, I remember back in the day when I got into the entertainment business when you actually had talent and <laughs> it deserved about a 10 second, like just hilarious laugh. And my buddy says that he goes, Wayne, I spit my drink out when he said that. I'm like, it's amazing. <laughs> isn't it? And you just did it to what me you again. You so you subtly, you're just like, boop, just a little, boop, just to let listen. That's all for the comedy. That's comedy. on the rat. That's that's all. That's all for the comedy, man. That's comedy. It's I love it, man. What is it's your a, shirt? Your shirt is a Jeep, a Jeep shirt. shirt. It says Jeep. You can't get that. I don't think you can get that in Canada. I got to get that. And then for you my have money. the Jeep peace sign, man. See, remember we were talking the other day, and you were like, people with Jeeps yeah. are like waving. Yeah, we do this here. It's the yeah. peace sign. Yeah, and no, in Canada we took great advantage of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Cal- it's the rank. It's a Rubicon. It's a Rubicon. I have a winch. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. California Jeep people kind of suck because they don't do the piece of once in a while. Like, I'm all about it. I see another Jeep coming head on. I'm like, Are peace, you? man. Oh, it's peace. the most peace. annoying no, thing dude, ever. I'm in a fucking, it's a family. So you're my fan. No, I know. So it's like, but it's, I'll give the peace sign. They don't do it back. So my peace sign turns into this. Fuck you. Ooh. In Tejas. No, you got to do jazz hands. Hi. Hey, guys. But in Tejas, <laughs> in fucking Tejas, dude, the Jeepers are all about the peace sign, man. I'm going to give them credit for that. You got to stop drinking yeah. that kombucha, dude. <laughs> it doesn't get better. And meanwhile, it does not get better. I thought you'd lean into it a bit. Meanwhile, it's probably giving you colon cancer. No, meanwhile, I think, like, every time I take a sip, I'm like, fuck, I've got COVID. I can't feel, I can't taste anything because it just tastes like Well, nothing. where's the hot chocolate part of like a 
fuck you tell me. I'd love to know because it hasn't happened yet. Maybe Shandell fucked up yeah. the uh, it, hot chocolate. It should be more like hot trilies. Like they <laughs> didn't need to false advertise with the word chocolate. Uh, they sprayed it with cocoa essential oils or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, I, I like to just stick to a, a like if I'm going to have hot chocolate, don't put fucking kale sprouts in it. Don't put kale sprouts in anything. Don't put fruit in salad that's fucking green. And I and I listen. I get it. I'm I I don't mind a cranberry here or there. But to drop like grapes and oh, pears so and apples. Do you want to have a salad? A I'd love a salad. But I want to have a salad that I can choose the dressing to put on. And when you put fruit in it, I cannot choose the dressing. It's got to be Italian only. And you know what? You're absolutely right. See, this is see. Now I'm going to preface this by saying I love my wife. Let's sink for a second. Oh, it's Let's sink in. Now, let me say this. When she makes a salad, she'll put like raspberries in it or like, or like, you know, blueberries. And I'm just like, I'll eat it and I'll go, oh my God, this is awesome. But you're right. I don't want ranch with raspberries. I fucking love that. I don't want to put blue cheese dressing over a fucking blueberry. I love fucking salad. Do you know salad, what I mean? Man. With like ham and fucking I love salad. And, 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 and croutons and bacon yeah. uh-huh. bits. Yeah. I'll take the croutons. When I'm doing my healthy stuff, what I will do is I will make a fucking giant salad. I'll put a little bit of tuna, albacore tuna mm-hmm. in there. I'll do ranch dressing with red onions. I love Ooh, red yeah, onions. Me too. I love I love tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes. I love um uh, a little cottage cheese in there. I like cottage really? cheese. Really? Oh man! Oh uh, oh! Fuck! And then I'll put like my mouth. Sal- I want salad right now. I love putting like pepperoncinos in my salad and stuff like. Oh that. yeah! And like or uh, on a sandwich too. Heart of palm. Have you ever had heart of palm? Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I like I love, salads. What, what? At what point in 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 his like? There's getting into a relationship. And I do, I do love my girlfriend. I think she's absolutely wonderful and, and she enjoys cooking, but there are questions that I have to ask. Like if she was to go, Oh, Hey, do you want lasagna tonight? Sure. However, what do you put in said lasagna? Don't put radishes. Don't put radish. Don't put, I don't, I don't want, I don't like this ricotta stuff or spinach. Don't put yeah. spinach in it. That's not for that's that's for the salad. That's take the raspberries out, replace the raspberries with spinach, and leave it the fuck out of the lasagna. I don't like that stuff. That yeah. do you put fruit in your salad? Which almost happened the other night, and I preface. This. Thank God you were there. Could you imagine what had what what would have went down? She was gonna put a pear in a salad, so I'm like, fuck no. We ordered fish and chips instead. That was close. That was close. That was a close call because that could have been the end of it. That was that night I sent you the picture of that disgustingly sexy. Yeah, you said, is this keto? And I said, no, the fish is breaded and those are French fries and ketchup is loaded with sugar. Yes. Yes. However, I do like the sugar free ketchup. What I'm trying to say is that. Don't throw that in there like you're all great. (laughs) And, And then the final thing. So we've talked about the final thing is stuffing for turkey. I love stuffing. but don't right? you put but any when you start throwing apples and yeah, cranberries in it. it and you start putting the summer and it just don't do it or you like shove like fucking walnuts in there if you put fucking walnuts in my stuffing i'm gonna fucking kill you and here's the other thing if i chip my tooth on a walnut if i chip my tooth on stuffing somebody's gonna yeah, die someone fucked because up because that's that to me they should they should go to prison Yeah, you should be shit. incarcerated because here's the problem mm-hmm. so the other thing is my wife makes this amazing pasta salad. It's like a pasta salad with tuna. You know, there's mayo in there and like a mayo, uh, some other dressing. It's all amazing. It's just so good. And then she throws grapes in. Now, I will say this. I'm going to say this because I do love her, her tuna pasta salad. I love it. You refrigerate it. You eat it cold. In the summer when it's hot. I don't mind the grapes. I don't mind them in there. Okay, I can yeah. get around it, though. Yeah, a grape, but it's not... But then mm, if I yeah. just want the salad without the grapes, I ha- I pick them out. I just think that we should be able to choose. And and I think that is where men have lost their yeah. voice 
is we have lost the right to choose. And then we say anything and then we're just you you don't you need yeah. to open your mind. Mm-hmm. No, I do. I do need to try new things. Like I should try a new car every couple of years, but I don't need to I don't need to do that. I, I do you know it. what I mean? So, yeah, you know what? I just I didn't mean to rant about it. It's just something that has been on my mind. It's a mind big lately. thing. Hey, look, it's not easy. And I would just I would uh, eating like don't put an egg on a hamburger. Yeah, Why I'm not all that? into that. And don't, and don't, don't, that. don't call something a smash burger because that's dumb and you look like a fucking idiot. I get it. <laughs> I get it now. That, <laughs> I mean, I know, but I can't even look at a hamburger I know. and not say it now. It's like a staple in my house. And it's like, I, I feel like one day you'll be looking up at the moon. And I'll be looking up at the moon and I'll say smash burger and then you'll fucking feel it like through the end. You'd be like, motherfucker. You know, the other thing is that, like, I just want to say, you know, we were talking about before is that I am grateful for my wife's salads and her tuna salad with the grapes. I'm grateful. And I'm saying that because she's probably going to listen to this. No, but to to like get into it, you are, though. I am because, hey, look, it could be worse. She could not be around to make those things. And that's. She could not love you. Yeah. Imagine that. Well, sometimes I feel like she doesn't love me, and that's why she puts the grapes in there. No, that's why she puts the pillow over your face while you're trying to sleep. That's why she does that. Yeah, she's not. Yeah. When she sings the lullaby, that's the weird part. <laughs> And give me your savings. <laughs> I ain't got none. I ain't got none. No, <laughs> man. My I. money, my money, yeah. my money situation no. right now is just fucking appalling. It's like I look at my bank accounts and I go, "What the fuck happened? What did I? Do? How? Who's fucking? Whose dog did I kill to have this fucking karma in my life right now? And who the fuck is Amazon? Yeah, well, they're taking." <laughs> I've been shopping for you want to talk about money I almost spent $350 last night on a tracksuit because Jesus for some Christ, reason I I suits. want I I just that's all I want to wear from now on I want to be known for my tracksuits like Adidas tracksuits velour ones but I I'm trying to figure out why I don't know why velour I don't yeah do they still reason. have velour Oh, they! I found one. It was about five hundred Canadian, three hundred and sixty American. Wait, whoa, whoa, for whoa, 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 one. whoa, whoa! Back the fuck up! Who the fuck is going to spend that much money on a fucking tracksuit? I think I might be that guy. I Jesus don't know what it is. Christ, I, dude, I really I can, want I can to... sew you one. No, you couldn't. I'll sew you one. I'll ship but, it out. You know what? I can't wait. I'll put I will send you my over no. It. I'm going to send you my my measurements. Okay. And my cup size, my chest size, I'm going to send you my measurements, and I'm going to hold you to this. I'm going to make you a fucking tracksuit. <laughs> like fuck you are. There is no way you are going I'm to hand sew this shit. Okay. a fucking tracksuit, and I'm going to send it to you, and it's going to be a color that you love, which is a rosé. Here, I'm going to hold you to that, and I'm going to up the ante. What? I'm going to knit you a fucking sweater. I'm going to learn how. I'm not even joking. Are you going to, do you know Needlepoint? I'm going to learn, I swear I'd never done it, but I'm going to learn how to knit and I'm going to knit you a sweater. How about this? How about you don't learn how to knit and knit me a sweater anyway? (laughs) You know what I mean? No, it wouldn't be a sweater. It would just be a Maybe that's how yeah. I'll do it. I'll just tie a bunch of like <laughs> yarn and a bunch of knots into the shape of oh. the sweater. Oh, that's gonna be good, man. I can't wait. I can... Man, I could just I'll sit on podcasts. <laughs> so um nine twenty seven. Um yeah, no, it's been a wonderful week. Oh these <coughs> these double under knots are just really getting me. I need a sixteen gauge. Yeah. My mom knits. Do you get cold? Is it cold there in the winter? Our winters are the same as New Jersey. Really? Yeah, oh. may- maybe a little bit. So because you got to think, so south, like where I sit on the map, I'm. If you drew a straight line, we'd be in New York. Wow. Or Michigan, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So I live the. I don't know how wide. 
Lake Ontario is? Here, it's like 20 that. miles, I think. Is it 20 miles wide? Or like 20 feet. How wide is Lake Ontario? I'm going to guess. I'm going to say right now. Two, 85 kilometers feet. wide. 200 feet. Am I close? Uh, well, they gave it in kilometers. Kilometers. I don't kilometers? know the, I don't know the yeah. breakdown between kilometers and miles. So, 85 kilometers in miles is 52 miles wide. I was way off with the 20 feet. Yeah. I had a panic attack at the grocery store today. Get out. First one in a while, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I went to the grocery store. I was there. And all of a sudden, I had this kind of like, like, I felt like my eyes were like crossing or something. I don't know how to even explain it. I felt like I couldn't really. And then I got kind of lightheaded. And I was like, and I my and my brain, I just kept going, breathe, breathe. And I kind of just started just standing there in the middle of an aisle, just kind of like. You know, trying to, I don't know, it's just, I think with just, we're going out to Texas and I, you know, I got this plays coming up and, and uh, all this stuff and like, you know, when am I going to get my next gig? You know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff was just spinning in my head while I'm at the fucking grocery store and I just kind of had a spin out for a little bit and it didn't go away until I got into my car. When I got the groceries in the car, sat in my car, I went. What the fuck was that? You know? It could have even just been the lights, man. Like, yeah. the lights might have just been enough to set you off. I don't know how the brain works. Yet, yeah, who knows, man? The fluorescent lighting. But may, well, you too, you have found that way to get through that, that stuff. So, yeah. like I always say, I still have anxiety, but it doesn't last as long. I still have lows, but they don't last as long mm. because I found ways to get out of it. And you have found that like that breathing thing man yeah, great. it has saved me yeah. i'm like oh, i even i i've even been doing like guided meditations mm -hmm. and stuff breathing only that way and i'm having almost i'm almost out of body i'm going to send you uh this one meditation that it's a 12 minute meditation and i'm going to send you okay. the link i'll sell i'll send it i can send it to your you know you know we're right we're done with this i'll send you the link but it's uh mr deepak chopra who i love and um, it's a 12-minute meditation, and it's for inner peace. And you deconstruct your name. So once you get into the meditation, and this and within like six minutes of being in the meditation, observing your breath, all this mm -hmm. stuff, you get to a point where he says, okay, repeat your name. So for him, so for me, it's Alex Scooby. So you say Alex Scooby. This is all in your head, not out loud. Then you attach all your worries, all your deadlines, all your anxieties to your name, to, to that name, Alex Scooby. Attach them all. Then you drop your last name. I am Alex. I am Alex. I am Alex. And you think of all your happy memories, preferably from your childhood, things that have been with you that just make you happy. Then you drop your name altogether and you just say, I am, I am, I am with no thought, no connection, nothing. And then you, you say that you do that for a minute. And then you go to a hum. You replace I am with a hum, a hum, a hum. And at that point, if you're letting go and you're, and you're letting go, you're in a space of just peace, man. And then while you're in this space, so I, I will. And while yeah, you're you in this space, to me. the wonderful, brilliant Deepak Chopra is saying to you while you're in this space, he's saying, this is, this is it. Where you are right now is awareness. You cannot, you cannot, it cannot be burned. It cannot be defeated. It, it's, this is everything right here where you are right now is aware. Be aware of awareness. He says this over and over, be aware of awareness. And then after about three or four minutes of that, he says, deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And when you're ready, open your eyes. And when you open your, I'm telling you, man, it's 12 minutes. And it's probably one of the best meditations I've done. 
I mean, as far as the feeling you get, you know. I'm so ready to go there, you know? Like, I, I, I'm so, uh, like, I'm just so done with, with, with treating myself like shit. I get it. You know? And, I'm, and I mean that, and I mean that from all angles. Like, I want to take better care of myself because it's not worth feeling like this, man. Like, I i don't feel like I've taken steps back. I think that today humbled me and it, it, and it made me more aware of who I am and how vulnerable I am. But the one thing I will say is that it forced me in, in a good way, in a positive way, to look at the food that I'm putting into my body because... I don't know, maybe I'm getting crazy the older I get, but there's like signs and there's this guy that came across the TikTok for you page that's like the foods you put in your body, the dairy, the breads, the mm-hmm. processed foods, it feels good. But and it was anyways, it was this great quote. Then you reminded and I'm like, yeah, I need to eat when I eat, mm-hmm. when I move and yeah. when I meditate. I am I am my brain is lucid and I'm aware and I am awareness and I'm the clarity piece is there and it's it, it but I have to eat, mm-hmm. move and meditate. I I don't have a choice. But I can't like that I just I need to let go of everything else and focus on that and I'm going to be fine. I'm so yeah. proud of getting to this place. You but, know at the end of the day yeah, yeah man, we all so, die. At the end of all this we die. Right? Not at the end of the day. Yeah, man. I All mean, you are is a speech like behind a podium. That's we it. We literally die at the end of all this. That is it. Yeah. And it's just, it, you know, the, 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 the thing for me is it, I don't even care at this point what happens. It's like I just know and I, I have comfort in knowing at this point in my life that I die. I want to be, I would love to be an end table. What? I'd love to come back as like a lamp or an end table. I mean, if you're, so, I don't know if that would feel good though if inhabit you don't feel it though that's just what you come back as that's all you know but where's your conscience but where's you, your where's your awareness do you are you aware it, you, that you're yeah you just get to listen to people's what like you're you're like i have no worries in the world because if i crack this fucker's gonna glue me back together i just get to listen <laughs> to all the crazy things these people say i think it was jim jeffries that said um he said something along the lines of we don't even know if this is real. We could be staring at a rubber wall right now talking. Like, this could all be in a bit, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, man. I tell you what, it's not too far off. I'll tell you what. I, I believe yeah, in man. I believe in energy. I believe in positive and negative energy. And I do believe that when you do pass, so, you know, again, this is An just opinion, a, a everybody that I've had for quite a while, is that the 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 energy that is in us the true self the awareness goes back into the universe i have no memory of before i was born i don't even have a memory of being born but i do have i that's i don't there's no memory there it's, there's nothing and when i die i'll go back to that place whatever that is that energy, that uh, go back into the universe is how I like to say. You know, a lot of people have this idea that, you know, there's this, where's a God up there? And he's like, you fucking didn't pay your bills. and you're Now you're going to go to hell. Or you didn't pick up your daughter from school that one time because you stayed home and shot smack. You're and my dead. real name is Jesus, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I don't buy into that. Uh, I don't, I don't agree with that notion. I... I just don't. I believe in the universe. I believe in the energy. And I also believe in science. So. Listen. You know, I mean. I. I, Yeah. And I'm quite okay with that. Yeah. I'm quite. I'm actually content with leaving this earth that way. Yeah. You know, I, I, I believe that. I don't know. I just, I really, I, I really, 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 truly do think that um, if you, th- if you have that mindset, mm-hmm. it's much easier. I don't, I don't disagree with any other mindset as long as it's not, you know, a moral or life threatening or, 
you know, where it hurts other people. Um, I think that it's something that if, if it brings you happiness and joy, then do it. But that brings you yeah. happiness and joy, and that should be for you. And totally. if you want to talk about it, talk about it, but come out with a disclaimer, yeah. just yeah. like we do. You know, I also believe in energy. Yeah. Um, I just feel like we would come back as an inanimate object every once in a while. <laughs> you know? You know what's another thing? Like, I, I think about this stuff. So I'm not somebody who ever watched Star Trek or Star Wars or any of those things. I'm not. Yeah. I'm just not into it, right? I'm not into sci-fi. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and But I still think I'm like, you got to be naive as fuck if you think that there's not something else looking down going, look at those. Oh, yeah. No, fucking aliens? Are you talking about UFOs and aliens and stuff? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Like, I think the Jetsons are yeah. real. That's probably the most of me, George Jetson. Right. No, but listen, I, I, I tell you what, right now, <laughs> I would bet both of my testicles that... Yeah, I can't believe you gave still. yours away. But I will say this. You have to be a bucks. fucking dolt to not fucking believe that there is many different species of whatever the fuck out there. And no, they don't probably mm -hmm. look like us. Mm -hmm. And if they do, then we're talking about like different then we're talking about different dimensions in a way because that's a whole nother thing I kind of believe in. But and I don't know if I believe, well maybe I do. But as far as alien life form goes, they're out there. And they're a lot fucking smarter than we are. Oh, shit, and a story, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, and a story. Super. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. No, I'm hands down. There's that, and I do always wish that. I, I, I love yeah. the idea of Back to the Future. That's a great flick. Yeah, I, I love. I would. I think it would be so cool. Not for, not for me per se, um, to go back to the Wild West, but I often wonder like yeah. what my role would be in the Wild West. Like would I be would I be an apothecary owner? Like what would I do? You'd be the guy that would be like walk oh, into shit. the what would I do? The, the fucking pub and you'd be like, Hey everybody, I've got magic outside. Saloon. Come on out. Five cents get you thirty minutes of magic. And they, you want to see the only bearded lady in the Midwest? Yeah. Well, step, step outside. on outside. I've got snake woman. I've got asparagus baby. <laughs> like you've got all these different things. My role would be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be the fucking black Bart. But with, but with, with comedy, like I'd be real funny, but intimidating. <coughs> you know? Yeah, I was going more for the brothel running thing. I'd, I'd, hey, look. You know, back then. You'd, You've been you traveling in a trailer or in a, in, in a caravan for a while. I mean, people need God. loving. Yeah, and look. you haven't bathed because no one washed their balls back then. Never. Like women's Never. vaginas probably didn't smell well. That's the first time we've said uh, vagina. The first time anybody said vagina on our podcast. Yeah, and it's and it's funny that it was me because I would have thought it would have been you. I totally thought it would have been me. Yeah, because you always talk hmm. about that with me on the text. No, I say, do you also have one when you tuck it between your legs and stand in the mirror? Does it also look <laughs> like a vagina? <laughs> That was the one thing we used to always do in the army. We would stand in the mirror, tucked in, and be like, I'd fuck me. Would oh you Oh, my fuck God. Me? That's from Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Oh, that was such a good movie, man. I know, right? He's brilliant. He's brilliant. I love it. So he he's... Oh. Oh, my God. That mind. Oh, my there God. There are so Hopkins many brilliant so, minds in the entertainment so talented, industry. So man. Have you ever... Have you ever crossed paths? No, no, I no, I have not had that honor. But he is brilliant, man. Wow, mm. he's the guy that just does nothing and yet everything at the same time. It's like it's just everything. Every role is like, even if the movie that is he's in isn't great, he's brilliant. It's just it's 
It's insane. I feel like acting, like when I would do, when I was in theater and stuff like that in class, I, 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 I always felt when I was acting, and I've never got to act, even that little show I did, oh my God, it was the coolest yeah. experience. And, and it was just the whole process of it, the production value and, and all that that I just, I just adored. But I, I don't know, it was almost... It was almost healing and calming in a way because you're creating something. You're you are being able to be an artist. Like you are not you you and your wife and your and your children. Mm-hmm. Um, does your daughter? She does not act? know, but she is a makeup artist and she's very good. So you are yeah. artistic, and that that excites me as a dad because I'm like, well, if I'm artistic like this, you know, then, then yeah, they find a way, man. Yeah. They find a way something. Yeah, man. And, and it's just, it's yeah. Pretty amazing. But... Mm-hmm. And some people, mm-hmm. some people are just so fucking talented, you know, like Eddie Van Halen, like Eddie Van Halen, oh, like he passed fuck. and I was devastated because I was a huge Van Halen fan, like old with you know David Lee Roth and Eddie and Michael Anthony, Alex Van Halen. Um, mm-hmm. He was a genius, man, on that guitar. Like he taught so many oh. people, learned and tried to mimic him, and they still. I mean, decades later from when he first started playing, I mean, like he changed the course of lead guitar in a rock band and rock and roll. But not only that. You know, his music could transcend into other categories of music. It wasn't just rock and roll. I mean, it was phenomenal. He was the motivational. The song Jump was the yeah, mo- was the crazy. motivational song of the 80s, 90s. 80s, 80s, You know, 80s. and it still yeah. is the motivational yeah. song. 80s, but 80s. Yeah, sorry. I would, yeah, I guess that would have been the early. So, but yeah. into the 90s when I was in high school and we would have motivational speakers come, they would always play yeah. it in the background and that was the song that got you all riled up because it, it, it speaks oh, to great. you. Yeah. Freddie so Mercury. Good. Freddie oh, Mercury. Yeah. But just his human value. Like he was yeah. unapologetically himself. There mm-hmm. are very few human beings on this planet that are unapologetically yeah. themselves. Well, especially in Canada because they're like, you sorry. Know? Well, they're trying to figure out if we're French. Or... Yeah. I actually, uh, I am going to take you to to the French part of Canada. Quebec, Quebec, for a weekend, one day. Oh yeah, but I'm going to take you to the part where it's really bad, like really French, where Why nobody speaks English. And and every and every time you leave a store, you feel like you are worthless because that's how really you, you feel. They don't. Yeah, there used to be a joke that Quebec wanted to separate from. Well, it, it's not a joke that much of Quebec has wanted to separate separate from Canada and form their own country. It's not. They don't even consider themselves like they don't. When their government speaks, they don't say as Canadians. They say as Quebecers. Really? They're very independent. So we had all. There was a. There was this famous stand-up comedian that said um, yeah. we should let them separate. And then have their own country, Quebec. Then we'll join Quebec, have a vote, and change the name back to Canada. <laughs> I don't mind French people. It's it's part of our country and it's part of our heritage, and I think they're wonderful. But there are some really mean. Well, I also Quebecers heard about that it, when, if you people. go to France, mm-hmm. you know Paris or you know whatever. It's like that that you know French people can be a little hoity-toity. A little, you know what I mean? I've, flambe, yeah, and like, yeah. Flambe et toi tu, flambe et toi tu, je te fru, le foie. That is, you didn't say anything. Flamage? You didn't say anything. You're making up words. Everything in Canada is French and English on our containers. I'm going to really? send you some stuff. Like apple juice? Yeah, jus de pomme. So say it though. Say it like jus de pomme. Jus de pomme. Right? You just said sexy. apple juice and it moved a little bit yeah. for me. That's the thing. That's what I don't understand. How do you say milk? Oh. Le. That's it? I think so. L A I T. Yeah, I think so. Fuck, I know way Le. more French than I thought. How do you I say I know way more than I thought. How do you say boner alert? 
Oh, um, I don't know, but um, Bonwa Alerta. Oh wait, oh wait. <laughs> French women, French women are known to uh, to turn it up a notch in the old bedroom, the, if you know what I'm saying. Really? So how do you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was magical. Huh? Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> you we need to we need to make it a, you need to make a nice like TikTok just where you're in the microphone. Just going Titty ASMR. Titty ASMR. This could be your thing. Associated sound alike meditation oh, ring. Oh my right. god! You you make you make TikToks in an ASMR voice saying ASMR wrong every time, like a different meaning for it, right? Assimilated society of mental relaxation. <laughs> TikTok. TikTok is TikTok is like it's where like people go to like cry or cook or to like t- say that they're single and then get mad that people ask them out on dates through TikTok. You just summed it up. Um it kind of is. I mean just, oh, I don't know what else. No, listen. I um I completely agree with everything you say. It is so that application. Dude, I had a I had a girl write me on TikTok who said, "Oh, men, you know, look at this as a dating app, and I'm single, but they write me, to go, and I, I'm like, why are you writing me this? Like, th- oh, that's bizarre that you would write that to me. I don't know you, and all of a sudden I, you're like." I, I'm single, and people look at this as a dating app, and they ask me no, out. No, but a lot of people, like, man. What the fuck? Yeah, why do people, I give a fuck? Because a lot of people get connected to you because you're speaking to them. So a lot of people get connected to you. Listen, there are some, and, and Mo's going to have to understand this. You've entered a whole new world of fame. Like, Dude, there my are last going video to got be ten, eight views. There are going to be... The, <laughs> there are... There are going fame comes in all different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Listen, you, you you are going to uh, you are going to be approached. You are going to be a math. Um, what's the what's the word when you like cat calls masturbated? Somebody? No, no, that's a different world. That's for when you play with your stuff. Oh. Jesus Christ, Alex, <laughs> you know better. You know that masturbation. Aunt Joan, is, is, is that you? Is when you. Yes, it's when you it's when you it's when you tenderize yourself. It's when you tenderize yourself. I call it I call it shooting you, rope. When, <laughs> I always say I always say listen up. I've got enough cum to shampoo a small moose. <laughs> if that's not the most Canadian way to talk about your stuff, I don't know God, what God, that is romantic. <laughs> I mean that's romance. Like Sometimes, you say that to, you say that to your girl. Like hey, yeah, I have up? actually. Yeah, I have. Yeah. And is that is she immediately like? Oh, forget flowers. That was what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, <laughs> she looks at herself in the mirror and goes, "Fuck, I am such an idiot, Shandell." <laughs> There was a guy with abs that did his eyebrows that <laughs> liked me. Do you uh, do you shave your bush? Oh fuck yeah. Yeah, me yeah. too. Not often enough, but often like I do keep up with it. Yeah. I I actually have yeah, I have like a routine. Yeah, me too. Like 70s like 70s bushes up to the belly button, they're out. It's not attractive. No, I And yeah, I I'm trying to maximize I'm trying to maximize the size. The size, yeah. right? Like that that's a half inch and a bush. When you yeah, so you know how um I don't like to I don't like to fuck around with my size 
It's already, I'm already towing the line. My penis kind of looks like that guy on the high school swim team, like the, the tall, lanky yeah. dude. Oh, God. Like, I don't know why got a little sick. That's how I would describe. Yeah, I would describe it as that guy. He's like, oh, hey, my name's Drew. I love the 800-meter freestyle because it really lets me open my lungs into the <laughs> earth. That's how I would describe my it's... penis if my penis was a person. Yeah. Okay, so let me describe mine. Mine's like um, mine's like if you took like a baby's arm. That's it. I need to go get one of my daughter's dolls. No, that'll ruin me for life. <laughs> A baby's arm. It's got like a left hook in there. <laughs> I was playing road hockey on the streets of Jersey, and my aunt Joan came out of nowhere my with, aunt a, Joan. with a slap shot right in the nutters, and it now it now has a curve in it. I call my penis. I call my penis Stanley because every Stanley I know is fucking deformed in some way. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know, but I do know a Stanley that's missing a finger. So, do you? Well, good for him. Did mm -hmm. did you? So we both shave our bushes, and I think people need to know that. Oh, I thought you were going to ask if I shave my tuckus, and I'm like, I've tried, but if you don't get it to the wood, and then you cut yourself, you don't want to cut it. yourself there. No, I, I want to try. I want to get sugared. What? Have you ever had your asshole get... bleached? No, I don't need to. I'm dark. <laughs> well, because uh, there's a place uh, in Hollywood that bleaches assholes. Oh, there's places everywhere. Asshole bleaching, which I do not understand, but kudos to yeah. whoever fucking yeah. brought people to jump on that train. Yeah. That's genius, you sick fuck. Yeah. But <laughs> hey, yeah. you're a billionaire now because you found a way to make assholes bleach. Good for you. Yeah. Good for I you. I mean, hey, look, yeah. I have never bleached my asshole, and I have never met someone that I... Don't know. Maybe I have, I don't, but I never asked them. Oh, you you live in you live in. I Hollywood live in asshole bleach towns. Yeah, you live where. That's why they started. I who's it. the mayor of that this that town? It'd be me. It'd be the asshole of... bleach town. <laughs> we call it albino the albino asshole hotel. <laughs> I'm getting a phone call uh, right now uh, while we're in the middle of this podcast and it's uh it's how he score he wrote the play that i'm going to be doing and i told him that i'd call him i actually answered it he can hear me right now i told him i'd call him when i was done podcasting but he couldn't wait so hello what yeah yeah. There was I'll call you back. a time I'll I back. looked at you and saw. Oh, like I know. Have it's some like courtesy. This is what it's like. Imagine. Remember. Oh, I remember when you were just a little fella yeah. um, on TikTok. I and now know, look at dude. You. Look, I can't tell you, you how much my life has changed. Here's you know? the main. The main difference is you've changed your T-shirt twice this week, and that and and. That's it. That's the whole thing right there. That's the whole kick. I had nothing better to say. I literally blacked out. I literally <laughs> thought I was going to say something funny, but it just, my my brain went. I used to, yeah. not, and it hasn't, I haven't not for very long. You know what I mean? So it it has only been probably like eight years since I used to do it. But I used to, really my best buddy, his name's Chris. We were in the army together. We used to play a video game on the computer yeah. where we were like, it was a first person shooter game and you would have like, you would talk to each other. You could be sniper teams yeah. and it would be like these four hour long first person shooters against the Taliban and like you were the, anyways, it's, it's like a call of duty type thing, but yeah. a serious one, like a more realistic one, a military simulation as they call yeah. it, I think. Anyways, we used to be, be like, okay, man, let's take five minutes. We'll, we'll RV because RV means rendezvous, and we would talk to each other. And, that. and now that I'm all grown up, eight years later, that's what this feels like. Hey, okay, let's take five minutes. Oh. We'll come back. We'll podcast more. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, should, yeah. yeah. No, it's pretty Not great. Play the video. Did, did you it's ever play great. video games, Alex? I played the hell out of video games for a long time. Actually, before I met my wife, I had a townhome on Wilshire Boulevard uh, in you know in L.A. And 
I lived with this guy who's a good friend of mine. And um, we would play Madden football for hours and days and weeks and never see the light of day. Like we'd be, we'd order the food, like pizzas would come. We'd just open the door to get the pizza, close it, shades are drawn, and we'd just be in land for hours, like, like, poo, you know what I mean? I don't know how this can go from this to what I'm about to say, but I actually have two amazing stories about Madden, the video game. Fantastic yeah. stories about Madden. So, okay, give so the first to, one, um, when I, I lived out on the West Coast, so I lived on Vancouver Island, but I was in the military as a firefighter, and the school I went to was yeah. in Ontario, where I live now, and it's about a four- or five-day drive. But traditionally, you wow. would take it through the states. I would always go through the states. I'd cross into North Dakota, drive through there, through Minnesota, and I stopped in, and, mm. and I, would, I stopped in Minnesota, or Minneapolis. That's oh, really? From. Yeah. So in the Twin Cities, I stay yeah. in the Twin Cities, and I got up early in the morning, and the morning show for some hip hop station was on, and the DJ, yeah. he's like, "All right," because I think it was when um, Randy Moss got traded or something like that. Randy Moss oh, okay. got traded from the yeah. Vikings to oh, wherever he went. I don't know. I'm surprised uh, I knew that I much. Um, yeah, I can't remember. What the hell he but was. they were talking about that, and they get this guy on there that was going to break the record of playing Madden the longest, like a Guinness Book of World Record. And they're like, "All right," Jesus. he's like, we're, "We're here with Tyrese. Tyrese, what's up?" He's like, "What's good, baby?" He says, "I'm just playing, man. Minnesota against Oakland, dog." And he's like, like "Bam!" And he's like, yeah. "I'm going to stay up. For, I got to beat 48 hours of straight playing, man." And then they're like, "Right on. We'll check back in." So they go. They do their thing they come back five minutes later and he gets on and he's like so man oh i feel good i'm 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 beating everybody i'm playing he's like i got this bro go away they check it again they do that a couple more times and finally they go oh, it's only been like 35 minutes or 45 minutes yeah. and they go they're like all right hey. they're like tyrese or whatever what's up and it's like nobody <laughs> and then you hear footsteps and this guy comes like yo tyrese asleep <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Tyrese. <laughs> poor Tyrese. Poor yeah, Tyrese. Didn't even last an hour. So then, it, to keep the and my it ties into my other Madden story. So I continue on, and I end up in Chicago. I love Chicago. Lived there for six years. Yeah. So I would come into Chicago, and I would stay in Schiller Park by the O'Hare Airport, mm -hmm. and then I would take this um, the hotel shuttle to the airport get a a train ticket and just go in i would walk around i would like find out like the the church that al capone um gave permission for the for yeah. the hit you know yeah. what i mean like stuff like that i would just seek it out on my own and i would end up i would end up in the hard rock cafe with um oh Uncle Cracker, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it would just, and it's that kind of city, and you could do it alone, and everybody was so nice. But the the first day I got there, I wanted to get a haircut, so I was driving. It was like I was in Schiller Park. It was about eight thirty at night, and I was driving around trying to find a barber shop, and I see a barber shop, so I pull up to it, and the lights are on, but the, the sign is closed says closed but the door was open so i opened the door and there's all these guys in the back all the barbers in the back this is when i really knew i wanted yeah. to be a barber one day all these dudes in the back just sit and play in madden in front of this uh, tv in the barber chairs yeah. drinking you know like just doing that and and i opened the door and the guy he's like we're closed bro i said okay cool man i'm like i yeah. canadian yeah. me you know i'm just looking to get not lined up but a little haircut and they invited me in and I stayed there for what? five and a half hours. Got a haircut. Yeah, got a haircut. Drank with them. Shot the shit. Oh, yeah. It, it turns out like the one guy, the one guy is from Detroit originally, which that's yeah. where my biological family's from. But like just a super cool experience. Oh, yeah. I, that's where I learned oh, how to so play Madden. Good, man. That's good, man. That's a crazy, yeah, way, to, that's a yeah. crazy way to learn yeah. how to play Madden in that story. That's crazy. Right? Wow. Mm-hmm. Dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Fucking Madden. Video games. I, Tomb I, used, to, I used to have a flight simulator. I played the hell out of Tomb Raider for, oh my really? God, hour. I mean, it was just like, to the point where when you're done, when you finally shut it off, you're like, oh my God, it's been 12 hours. And I'm like, and you're so zoned out that like going out into society is bizarre. You're like, because you're still kind of in the video game in your head because you're so wrapped up in it that you're like, yeah. Oh, fuck. I got to talk to people, like, really communicate. It's just bizarre. Because it does. It flips your head a little bit if you dive in, you know? So wild. Oh, yeah. 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 But it, it, so we got VR. That kind of freaks me out, that Virtual stuff. Virtual reality yeah. for the PlayStation. It is so much yeah. fun. So I've got a boxing game, Creed, and you're like... You have to dip and dive, and you are dripping sweat at the end of it. You can go into the gym and that's just exercise. That's bag good, man. Punch the bag and like there's. How does it look like when you're in it? Does it look good? So good, yeah. so good. Like you're in the ring and the 3D sound, but then there's like crazy music games. Then, then there are the videos, the virtual reality videos where you're in a jungle or you're floating down a psychedelic river and they're playing like Pink Floyd in the background oh and you're completely enthralled in it. Now you get yeah, high before you do it? It is. Oh, fucking do you get high before you do it? Golf. Golf is amazing. Really? And it's actual golf. Oh, yeah. We're going to play virtual reality. 